Hi, this is Scott Deluzio with WP CRM System, and in this video I'll be showing you how to import organizations into your WP CRM system. First, you'll want to make sure that you have installed and activated the Import Organizations extension for WP CRM System. As you can see, we've already done that here. Next, we're going to create a CSV or Comma Separated Values file with your data. You can use a program like Microsoft Excel or even a plain text editor to create this file. I will show you both ways of creating your CSV file now. So these two files are identical. The file on the left is a plain text editor version. Uh, I happen to be using uh, Notepad++, uh, but any plain text editor would work. And the file on the right is the Microsoft Excel CSV version. Again, both files are identical content. In your CSV file, the first row should be your column headings. These can say whatever you want. The information won't get imported into uh, your site. So they don't have to match exactly what I have here. So for example, if you speak another language, you can use the equivalent name here. Uh, this is more of a placeholder so you understand what content should go in each column. Uh, however, the, the order that these fields show up is important, so be sure to keep them in the correct order. So the order is organization, phone number, email, website, street address number one, street address number two, uh, which would be for like a P.O. box or a suite number or something like that, uh, then city, state, zip code, country, and additional information. Now, if you create your CSV in Excel, it may make your life a little bit easier since it takes care of placing the commas in the appropriate place and formatting everything how it should be. But you will want to pay special attention to certain fields, uh, such as your zip code. For example, in this case, we have a zip code that started with the number 0, uh, but when you type a number in Excel like this with the number 0, uh, it has a tendency to drop off that number. Um, so if you don't handle that properly, you'll see over here uh, in the plain text, it actually gets dropped off uh, throughout the whole file. Uh, since CSV files won't display formatting, you can't modify the format of the cell to add a zero in front of the number uh, the way you might be able to with a regular Excel file. Instead, you'll have to enter a single quote and then the number zero. And then it will save that zero uh, in, the, in the cell uh, the way it's supposed to be. Uh, the importer is smart enough, though, to know uh, to strip out that single quote, so it's safe to leave it there. When you save the file, you'll notice that the file, the uh, plain text file, will have the zero in it. So now everything is formatted correctly. Now, if you were to create your CSV file in the text editor, you may have some other issues to worry about. The additional information field allows you to put in some, some information using basic text and uh, some basic HTML, uh, if you're familiar with that. This is a great way to import a bunch of data into these organizations. However, if you end up with some text with a comma in it, you could mess up the import if it isn't handled correctly. Now remember, this is a comma-separated list, and so adding a comma in the middle of a field would indicate the end of that field to the importer. Instead, you'll need to put double quotes around the field if it includes a comma, so the importer will know where the start and end of that field is. So for example, we can take a look at this field here uh, in the Excel version, where there's a comma. Now if I scroll over to the plain text editor here, uh, you'll see that Excel had actually put in for me the double quotes where it belongs. So now the importer will know to take this whole section as that additional information field, uh, and it, it will kind of ignore that comma uh, and just treat it as any other character. So basically, if you created your file in Excel, it would handle that for you. Uh, if you were to use the plain text editor the way some people might do, uh, you would just want to be careful that any commas in any of your fields uh, end up having the double quotes around the entire field. 
Once you're done adding records to your CSV file, save the file. In Excel, you can select Save As and then choose the comma separated file from the menu. And the same for, goes for the text editor. Now, if we go over to our uh, WP CRM system site, you can hover your mouse over WP CRM and then click on Settings. If you have already activated an the imported uh, plugin, you'll see the import tab up on the top. You can use the file picker provided uh, to select your CSV file. And once you select it, click submit and the importer will start running. So I'm going to go ahead and select my organization's CSV file and I'm going to click submit. And we'll give it a second to finish running and it will import all of our organizations. So here we have a confirmation message. It says the organizations were uploaded, 10 were added, and 0 were skipped. So now let's take a look at the organizations. You can see originally we had no organizations in here, so let me refresh this page. And we'll see all of our new organizations added here. You'll notice that all of the data was pulled into the correct location. So if I go and pick one of these fields, uh, one of these organizations here, our phone number is in the correct spot, the email address, website address, uh, zip code, uh, country, everything is in the same, in the correct place. Uh, this field didn't happen, uh, the organization didn't happen to have any additional information, so nothing shows up here. Uh, but if I pick one that did, Let's see which one was. Let's pick this one here. This one had some additional information. And this is the one that we looked at with a comma earlier. Uh, and you could see everything imported just the way we wanted it to. Now, if for, for some reason you need to run the import again. So let's try to run this import again with the same file uh, without doing anything click Submit, we're going to see that zero organizations were added and 10 were skipped. Now the reason why is because the importer won't import the same organization twice and it basically matches up against the names that show up here. Um, so if you were to rerun that, it'll it'll skip those 10. Um, but say, for example, you added uh, another 10 uh, organizations to that file and you didn't want to sort out the ones that you had, uh, you could re-import it safely knowing that it won't override any of the original data that was uploaded. Um, it'll just import anything that's new. Um, and that should be all that you need to get your organizations imported into the WP CRM system. Um, however, uh, some people may run into some minor issues uh, where if you happen to be uploading a large list of organizations, uh, you may end up having an issue where your, your host server uh, times out. It takes too long to import all the, these records. Um, basically, a quick fix for that is just separate your, your CSV file into a smaller chunk of records, uh, just basically having fewer records and try running it again. Uh, and, and then run the next file uh, with the, the extra set of records. Uh, that, that should trim down uh, the amount of time that it takes to run the import, and once when you have that, you should be able to get everything imported correctly. Uh, if you have any other questions, please visit us over on the support forum at uh, WPCRM, and we'll try to get all of your questions answered. Thanks.